We arrived around 6, was that 5 or 6? I think around 6 p.m. Oh, I'm getting better lighting from Ru. Guys, Ru is being so helpful. I can't wait for you guys to see her. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So we arrived around 6 p.m. I took a bath. She took a shower. This room is gorgeous. I want to take videos today, but I'm going to take the videos in the morning when I wake up because I feel like the lighting would just do it so much more justice. It's gorgeous. Right now, we're rushing to dinner, so I'm just going to show you friends of the dinner. And then we'll be back here and we have some activities lined up for tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. Let's go to dinner. So it's my third day at Blue Zebra Island Lodge. Um, we've been on Nankoma Island for three days. We got here on Friday. Today is Sunday. I have had the most relaxing week in a very long while. So this year, because of COVID-19, I haven't done much travel work because most places closed down and domestic tourism kind of just went down in general. So I'm actually glad to be traveling again. So when I reached out to Blue Zebra Island and I told them that I want to do a video on things people can do this festive season, they were very happy to host me. So I thought I could share with you the seven things that I have come to love about Blue Zebra Island. I have really, really enjoyed my stay here. So I want to share with you the seven things that I really, really love about Blue Zebra Island Lodge. So the first thing that I love is actually the island itself. So um, briefly, um, the island is about 10 kilometers away from the shore. So it's there are three parts to the island. So there is this one, then there is a bigger one. This one is the smaller, I think the middle one. So this one is, well, it's closest to the shore where we're coming from. That's um, Senga Bay Salima. So yeah, there is this one, then there is a bigger one in the middle, and then there is a much smaller one at the far end. Apparently the small one is where you go snorkeling and it's like very deep and stuff. So I haven't been there. I hope to come there next time. But um, here is where we are. So I love the island in general. It's very natural. It's very, um, it's wild. It's beautiful. There's birds chipping everywhere. It's just really relaxing and I love that about it. Um, the second thing that I love is the rooms. Oh my god, I love the room that we're staying in. We got um, the family cottage, but I think they have other types of rooms. Check out my blog for all the different types of rooms and rates that you may want to know about them. I really, really love this room. It's so huge, it's so spacious. It's facing the lake, so you wake up to the view of the lake. It's gorgeous, it's, it's really spacious. It's got like a dining area. It's got like two dining areas, outdoor, indoor. It's got the kitchen. It's got where I'm sitting right now, where you can just chill and relax. It's got the living area inside. It's amazing. So I think you would love to check that out. I haven't checked out the other rooms, but there are several other types of rooms. There is like tents. There is ones that are like on the far end. I was actually surprised that the place goes that far, but there are some that are even further. So I genuinely think that you would actually enjoy checking out of the rooms. And I can't wait to check out the others. I'm going to be back. Definitely, I'm going to be back. So I want to check out the other rooms and see what kind of services they really have to offer. It's all just amazing. And the third thing that I love about this place is the service. The service is amazing. 
I'm obsessed because every time I go somewhere, I'm looking to work well with the people and kind of, you know, um, I want to know that the waiters and the barmen know exactly what they're doing. So the service here is great. They do just everything as they're supposed to. They know exactly what they're doing. And speaking of the service, I want to mention particularly the barman, the bar, the cocktails were amazing. That's thing number four that I love about this place. The cocktails were amazing and they have both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. And I mean, when you go to other places, when you speak of non-alcoholic cocktails, usually they'll just give you like rock shande and that's about it. These guys have so many options and they all genuinely taste very good. So I'm actually very happy about that. And when you're here, check out the cocktails. They're really, really amazing. And now that I've mentioned the cocktails, obviously I have to mention the food. The food was great. Um, the breakfast, lunch, dinner, there were so many options. Oh, there was one that I did. Um, the, there was dessert, I think, yesterday, and it was poached egg, and I, not poached egg, poached guava. You know, that's the only poached thing I know, poached egg. So it's like poached guava, and I'm like, guava, poached, what does that taste like? It was actually good. It was good. Um, it was with cinnamon and syrup. So you could really taste mostly the syrup and the, um, the sugar, the sugar and the cinnamon, but... It wasn't bad, like you could barely test the guava, but the thing is the idea of poaching a guava was actually very interesting to me. Poached fruit, so I haven't had much poached fruit, but that was really good. I'm actually going to check that out and try more of that in my own kitchen. It was really, really nice. Got face of the day. <laughs> Honestly, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised. No, you taste more of the cinnamon. Then yes, yes. see that you look okay. <laughs> no, yeah, you, you, you should taste it. I don't want to. You taste more of the cinnamon. It. it doesn't look nice. Hmm? It doesn't look good. No, the thing is, you don't taste. You really don't taste the guava. Oh really? Mm -mm. I'll pass. I'm tasting a lot of the cinnamon. I'll pass. No, I'll pass. I'll put it for you Your at my house. Your face says it all. I'll put it for you at my house. You. <laughs> I'll put it for you at my house. No, you still have to make breakfast for me. I'll make you pushed guava. Yeah. So the other thing that I love about this place is the views. My God. Like you sit here and you're looking at that and you look behind me. You've got the lake. You've got nature. You've got everything. If you love like nature and you want to just absorb it and just have a good time. This is definitely the place for you. So I definitely, definitely love the views in this place. It's just amazing. I think if you just want to relax and just forget about things and just hear the birds chipping and the waves crashing and the winds blowing and leaves just blowing everywhere, it's definitely the place for you. I definitely, definitely love this place. I think you enjoy the views. And speaking of the views, one view that you really, really love is the pool area. So I think that's my point number six. You will love the pool area. It's gorgeous. It's got like an infinity pool that goes on onto the lake. It's amazing. I think you'll love it. So that's definitely my point number six, things to love about Blue Zebra Island Lodge. And my last point and things to love are the excursions. So I think they have several. I couldn't try out all of them. I think we only did the Sunset Cruise and we did a bit of the kayaking. Um, there is definitely bird watching, I know. I think they have um, snorkeling. I can't wait to do that next time. I've never done that, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, they have some water sports that I also didn't try out that I'm looking forward to try out. So they've got several excursions. Oh, there's trails. I'm not much for walking, but if you love to take walks and to have a look around, there's trails and they're pretty steep as well. So maybe if you enjoy that, you would definitely love that. So those are my seven things to love about Blue Zebra Island Lodge. If you're in Salima, definitely do check it out. Um, check out all the offers that they have on my blog. They're pretty, pretty amazing. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Follow me on social media and as always, stay kind. I'll be seeing you very soon.